Yo, what's going on guys? It's Generous here today and I'm back doing another top 5 video today. Seems as you guys love the one I did from 100 subscribers special, I thought I'd do another one and I put in the Discord what do you think I should do for the top 5 structures that need improving in Minecraft and you guys came out with like 20, 30 suggestions. I've chosen the ones that I thought definitely is improving and I've thrown them in so I'm going to start now so enjoy. Number 5 Coming in our number 5 spot we've got the Igloo. The Igloo is one of those structures in Minecraft that I personally think completely needs redoing. Like, it's so outdated, it's small, there's items in there that you don't want. A crafting table, a bed, a furnace, a flower pot, a redstone torch, and some carpet. And if you're lucky, you obviously get the ladder where it goes down and leads to the zombie villages. But I've got a suggestion from 87 Drop Top off Discord, and he suggests we have igloos that are villages, which I think this is a super cool idea. Like, let's go into one. So we've got into one here. We've got two beds, a furnace, like... Carpet acting as leather, you've got chest, a crafting table, flower pot, and maybe if you're lucky you get the, obviously the ladders that go down to more zombie villages at the bottom, but you obviously also have a campfire outside, and obviously you've got a horse, which would usually be on a lead, but the, I think the lead despawn, but you get a horse there that you can tame, and like in like one of the chests inside the igloos would be a saddle, which you can use that horse then to travel and get around a little easier, which I think this is a really cool suggestion from 87 Drop Top, so well done at number 5 spot, so let's move on to number 4. Number 4. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we've got Desert Temples. Desert Temples are one of the first structures I actually ever came across in Minecraft, and they've been there since the start, which I think they 100% need an upgrade now, since they've been there for that long. But this is a suggestion from Toasty Puma, and what I've done is I've actually upgraded the Desert Temple to look something like this. Something that you'd actually like to come across in your world. Like, imagine having like a pyramid, and you have actually something at the top of the pyramid, like a gold block. Something that's like a bit of a reward that to go and see. And then obviously this is like kind of like the main entrance where you'd walk down. So imagine if you're walking down here, you've got fire pits to the right, you've got lion statues. These actually weren't my design, which I don't actually know who designed them, but I thought they were really cool, so I had to get into them, but I'm not taking credit for them. The, uh, like, the real had dead trees on the outside, so luckily they actually used to like be like, a bit lively and used to be like people living here. And if you come down here, you've got mobs that are like, still spawning here. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting, like up here, there's not really much to it, just cobwebs and sand. And if you come down here, this is actually where it gets a bit, like I say, a little bit interesting. You've got to press buttons in the correct order in order to open the middle. So like it could be that button once, that twice, then that once, and you don't need that button. Like it's a four digit number, obviously. And then that destroys this middle block, which I'm just gonna get this just for the sake when I put it back. You come down here and it comes down to like a ladder. You follow this ladder down and it comes into the treasure room. And in this treasure room, obviously, you get all like your treasure and whatnot, like from the chests. But you've got to be also careful because if you still, let's say, stood on one of these, obviously, I haven't got it underneath there, you'd have TNT. Which I think, if obviously, you stood on that, blow everything up, like, like the one that the Desert Temple currently does. But you basically just bring that over from the old one to the new one because I thought that was still a cool idea, like, cool, cool idea, essentially. And if you come up here, back, I'll place the block back. But I personally think this is what Desert Temple should look like. Because obviously you get like reward down there, you get a reward on the top. And it's obviously, it's like a maze basically. Also, it's a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? That you got to try and work your way down. But anyway, on to number three. Number three. Coming in our number three spot, we've got jungle temples. Jungle temples nowadays are a little bit outdated. The old, the booby traps aren't as good as what they should be. But what I've done is I've made it bigger, better, badder. And obviously a lot, something that you'd appeal to you when you go out in the world and you'd want to go and explore it. Like this was a suggestion again from Toasted Puma. So you made it twice in this list today. But as you can see, I made it bigger, better, badder. And something that you'd obviously want to explore. Like imagine if you're like down here or something. And then you come up here and you see this temple. Like it's like for me, that instantly says to me, I want to go and explore that and go in and see what there is. And obviously the way to get into this is you'd have to go up these. You could basically kind of do a cheat away, which is go up the stairs here on the side. But if you're doing it properly, you'd obviously make your way up through the stairs from like the middle bit. You get to the top bit up here, you'd have to destroy the middle block. As you come down, you don't realise at first, you come down, you look, oh, there's a thing there. But there's two arrows that shoot straight at you. So that takes a few hearts off you. And then as you come down, I've used redstone torches to make it seem a bit more dark and gloomy. You've got another, like, fire of the arrows here. And then here, you've got a bridge, which obviously I made out of campfires, which is just like, they're not on fire anymore, they're just distinguished. But if you look down here, there's lava. So you really don't want to fall down there. That's where you don't want to go. 
you have odd, the, uh, the odd few, if we can go down there now, there we go, not four, there we go, you've got a few like slabs, which you might be able to jump on quick enough if you're up quick enough to get onto them, but if not, you're dead. But anyway, let's, let's carry on, keep going down. You've got one more trap before you get to the treasure room, which is here, same again, arrows. You get over here, you flick the lever, you come in, and now you're in the room, which has the chest in. And in these chests, you'd find enchanted books, iron, iron ingots, bones, string, rotten flesh, they're pretty much all the same, but some you might find golden apples, some you might find none, some you'll find again books, but, and then you'd find maybe the one skull, which would actually make it come worthwhile down here, like someone's been here and died, which I think that would be pretty cool. But anyway, on to number two. Number two. Coming to our number two spot, we've got Witch Hut. This was a suggestion from Jamaica off Discord, and I think this is a great suggestion, because Witch Hut's don't really have anything to them. Obviously, you can kill the witch, but when you get to kill the witch, what is really is there? There's a cauldron, a crafting table, and a flower pot. The structure itself is a little bit outdated, it's old, dull. So what I've done is I've actually made a better witch hut, like this one here, which I think you'd love to, and I would love to stumble across this along the world. I'm saying probably with you guys. Like imagine stumbling across this along your world. This is somewhere you could basically live at the start. Like you'd have a cauldron outside with a campfire. You've got like logs that have been left there from when trees have been cut down. You've got vines and cobwebs growing around them. Like each witch hut I think would have two witches in them, which I think is a fair value. Not just one, but two. Like there used to be people living here. Like obviously it used to be like torches on the roofs, but they've been taken down. You've got a fireplace over here. You've got brewing stands to make potions. You've got like maybe a, like a sapling here that you can throw into a cauldron to make a potion. You've got fermented spider rice, sugar, gunpowder, uh, spider eyes, like stuff that you'd use in potions. And then over here, you'd get potions, like pre-made potions that you've already been made. You'd get nether wart, redstone dust. I think that'd be pretty cool. You'd get the odd skull, like a sacrificial skull you'd maybe throw into a cauldron. And imagine like this, like this is where someone's been like chained up and that's like blood on the floor. And they basically use like blood from like the human being to go into a potion to make it. And then you've got recipe area. Like I would think, I'd think this is pretty cool to come across at least, like in the world of Minecraft. Like it's definitely an upgrade compared to how the old one used to look. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put some honorable mentions in. Once I've done that, we'll go to the number one spot. So enjoy. Number one. Coming in at our number one spot, we've got mob spawners. These structures in Minecraft have been in the game forever, and they've never really got an update to them. Like, obviously, I know it's a spawner, so the spawner is quite a rare block and quite like quite a rare thing to find in Minecraft. But like the surrounding to it's very dull. It's quite compact. It's there's not really much to it. So what if we actually did something a bit different and we made the surround area a little bit better? Like as you can see on the screen, imagine coming down the cave like this. Come down here. And suddenly you find like a load of like cobblestone slabs, walls and stuff, and it indicates some cobwebs. That indicates there's going to be a spawner nearby. So as you're coming down here, you're just thinking it's like a regular cave coming down here. And then suddenly you've got like booby traps that you come down here and suddenly you've got arrows flying at your face. There's not just one, there's two of them. You might even get three. There's loads of cobwebs around to make it look like it's been old, because it's been abandoned for ages. And you know, obviously you've got to mine these iron bars to actually get in which then you can get loads of mobs spawning in. Like, I think this would be pretty cool. Like, imagine these obviously used to be holding cells where people used to be, and used to have, obviously, lived in. And then, obviously, once you killed all the mobs, you come to the back room here, which is just kind of like the treasure room. Like, these, are like, other two don't have chests in them, whereas this back one does. And in the back room, you can get, like, iron, enchanted books, name tags. Like, in this one, again, golden apple, name tag, iron ingots, rotten flesh. Obviously it depends what spawner it is, like this one's got rotten flesh in it only because it's a zombie spawner, but if it was like skeleton spawner they would have bones in them. But I think this is what like the mob spawner should really look like and I, this is why I chose to be number one. But anyway guys, if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see another top 5 series on my channel, don't forget to leave a like, be subscribed, turn on the notification bell below and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya! I can make a wildfire get away